you guys. Today we're going to be doing the Victory Hop Devil IPA. Beer number 16. Is it just me or is there some cool uh, art going on there? I don't know. I didn't uh, look at Well, it. not so much actually. Well, th- the thing that we know about Victory is like it says Hop Devil India Pale Ale. It's going to be like a porter. Yeah. It'll probably, yeah, porter. Because they style. lie. They Their do. beers are never what they say they are. But they've been pretty good. But they're good. usually good. They're usually, usually good. They're usually good of off style. just different. Yeah. yeah. Bold, spicy, and menacingly delicious, TM. Wait. Menacingly delicious, trademarked. Okay. They trade like... Trademark, trademarked, menacingly, menacingly delicious. delicious. Jesus. This American hopped IPA offers an <laughs> aromatic punch and follows through with a lasting full-bodied finish. It better be full-bodied. Everybody says their beer is full-bodied. Yeah, but that's like full a, of shit. That's like popular to say about your beer. Yeah, our beer is full-bodied. You can't prove it's not. <laughs> well, you know what? One day someone Ooh. will come up... Ooh, it, Wow. Mm. Looks like it might have some very wow. malt going on. Wow, look at that. That is gorgeous. We're all like, yo, let's make fun of this. Whoa. Ew. We'll shut the fuck up if something's actually good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we're, we, we're, we're we, happy to be wrong. We stop talking shit when something's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Ooh, what a weird nose, but not in a bad way. This has like this almost sort of, hop cubed nose. Actually, it kind of, in a way, reminds me of like the um, uh, ninety minute IPA because it's got that uh, shoyu thing going. Yeah, dude. There's a lot of what well, with a little bit of grapefruit. There's a, a lot bit of, of uncharacteristic on the nose, like portery kind of stuff. Yes, yeah, like stouty kind that's, of stuff. It's the malt coming through, I think. Mm. Like that's chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. Very uncharacteristic. See, I told you it's a porter. No, yeah. you told me. Yeah, it's, it's probably porter. A porter. <laughs> See? <laughs> no, it smells fantastic. It's ch- cheap ass artwork that looks like it was done in 1994, but. Huh. Gentlemen, this is the lightest colored porter I've ever tasted. Yeah. It's hoppy enough to easily be an IPA, but. <laughs> it's very porter. It's a porter. Yeah, it's earthy as fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This you is, called it. It's 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 a porter. Well, you called it. Somebody called it. I called it. Um, but I, I I've never had this beer. Interestingly enough, there is like some spice coming through. Mm-hmm. This, now I think a lot of that earthiness comes from the pine character. This IPA yeah, it reminds me of that Imperial Red that we had. Two brothers. Yeah. Oh yeah 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 like resiny almost. Mm-hmm. That one was. This one not so much. I don't really get the resin out of this one. This has even got that fucking umami thing. Yeah, Mm -hmm. it does. Yeah, I could smell the the shoyu. Mm -hmm. It's not a surprise it actually has it on the palate. Dude, wow. This is pretty good. I like this. This is great. This is like a stout drinker's IPA or something. Yeah. So it's your IPA. This isn't pissing me off. The hops are there. But they're good. Not Actually, the hops are really forward. They're very, very yeah. strong. Yeah. It's just not the hops you hate. The mythical the hop hops devil, you love to hate. The mythical hop devil resides in the lore of our farmers. Our hop devil is the real deal. Bold, spicy, and menacingly delicious. TM. TM. He's also the product of distinctive American hops and meticulous craftsmanship. Does Lemon? it say what hops? Uh, arising from the heady... No, does not say. Oh, well, fuck them then. 6.7%. Mm, I'd see that. Yeah. It's got all kinds of notes that IPA has no business having. Even There's even some leathery in there. There is. This is a little one, bit of tobacco. Well, it, yeah. well, it still has that like fresh sort of jumping like bitter yeah. citrus thing going. Leathery, you know, tobacco. This it's might, got a lot of this might be, really big malt flavors you'd expect. This might be the, my favorite IPA that I've ever had. Really? It's certainly up there. I like really a, like it. I'm yeah, like, there's like, like cigar like, tobacco too. Like, yeah, I had to try it again to make sure I wasn't full of shit. It's there, and I think whatever it is, it, is it's that malt character that's there that balances out the hops. And this is maybe like the hops are there. Like you can certainly tell that, but the malt and the whatever, what other various characteristics that are in there. Yeah, this because like got I'm thinking some of that citrus fruitiness too like it's honestly for me it's really subtle though in terms of IPAs that I like legitimately like that don't have like some other gimmick going along with them because yeah. like, I'm going to go ahead and count um, Citradelic out for that <clears throat> um, 
it's between my this, goodness. It's between that and ninety minute for me. And yeah. like and, and and hop cubed being very very I've, close behind. I've had that recently, this, and that I is, think is not my favorite IPA I've ever had. And I, I think, think we. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'm, like I'm. Yeah. I think we have mythologized the hop cube a little bit. I've had that recently, and it's not nearly as much like this as you think. Yeah, I think it's just that it was the first that we had that was like that, and then we had a bunch more of that ink that went along that line. Yeah, if you go go back to it, it's a lot closer to a regular IPA. Yeah, than this is, although it is like on this sort of like spectrum. Right, this is much more like the ninety minute IPA. Yeah, for me, like. Because, I mean, I've had... I still have some it's 90 minutes. It's very rindy. I still have some 90 minutes in my fridge, and, like, comparing that to this, yeah. this is, like... Fruit rind, yeah. It's neck and neck between these two. Between the wow. Hop Devil and the 90 Minute, I mean. And that malt. I think... It's isn't good. this a lot cheaper than the 90 Minute IPA? A lot cheaper. And it's almost the same. Almost That same. malt is and big, and it's complex. You'll get a six, you'll get six of these versus four of the 90 minutes. For cheaper. For less money. And this even has that shoyu character. Yeah. Wow, mm. are these bottles handmade? It looks like it's like... Or hand-blown. It looks like the fucking neck is like off... Like uh, tilted. Yeah, it is kind of up until the left. I mean, you never know. These days, guys with large beards do all kinds of stuff by hand that wasn't done before. Yeah. And this looks kind of uneven. It makes them feel better about the fact that they're not good at anything else. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, man, I'd be useful if I was living in a primitive society. And I'm like, eh, whatever, okay. As you fix their car that they can't fix. <laughs> man, I wish I could change my tire. Oh, well, I don't. But at least I can blow glass. <laughs> there you go, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had a funny moment um, a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. where um, I had a flat tire. And so I called work, and I said, hey, I've got a flat tire. I'm going to be a little And they were late. like, oh, God, do you need a wrecker? And you're and, like, no. And they were like, oh, God. Yeah, they were, like, seriously, like, <laughs> bummed out, like. Oh, man, I guess you'll miss work today, huh? And then <laughs> I was 10 minutes and you're or like, 15 minutes late to work. Like, and like, and they were like, whoa. I was like, yeah, a tire actually doesn't take long to fucking replace. You know, just fuck off. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong? You just got to take some nuts off. And then put them back on. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's it's not hard. And even if the last assholes that did it weren't using torque bars. And like fucking like. And held an impact down for like four seconds. Well, yeah. I mean, they Still did. That hard. They did, but I just like yeah. put the like, um, the lug wrench on there and just jumped on top of it over yeah. and over again until it broke. But 15, 16,000 jumps tops. Yeah. 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 Tops. Tops. Um. Yeah. Seriously, people can't do anything nowadays. I'll tell you what's funny is like some I have a breaker bar that's like this long. <laughs> Alright, and sometimes I get on some bolts and Jesse will like see me just really on something and he's just like, What the <laughs> <laughs> And some people just don't get the whole like not over torquing stuff thing. Yeah. They really don't. Yeah. Yeah. But this beer, this beer is really fun. This, this beer, beer is, is not over torqued. Is not over torqued. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it is, but only in a good way. Yeah. yeah. No. I, I do keep discovering new things in the aroma. Yeah. There is some like and the finish such, is like, pretty like, nice too. fruitiness in it, like stuff that's not can, IPA like at all. I can even explore this beer with the little bit that's it's like left, left yeah. in the glass. Just a little bit of residue clinging. I mean, to it's it. amazingly. I mean, this. This is a really good beer. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad I picked Seriously, this Seriously, victory. Well I think done. it's the most complex IPA I've had. Uh, it's getting to where we've had so many, it's hard to make claims like that, because I don't really remember everything. Because we're like, we're like getting, yeah. we're like at about, you know, 150 or something. I don't yeah. know, I haven't counted, but. We yeah. are in the neighborhood of, it's. I think it's about the 120s, 120, one, yeah. either 120 or 130 Because I think years. we're like on average doing like 57 in a, a season, something man, like that. Man, isn't that weird? On this show, we've had like 120, 130-something beers. But you know what? That's the big reason to do this show, even if people don't watch it, because right. it forces us to taste beers we wouldn't otherwise taste. So worse comes to worse, even if other people aren't getting driven out of it, even though like we're not getting any views or anything, you know, I still, I'm enjoying, this is going to sound dumb, but I'm enjoying the journey. Yeah, because there are so many beers that I wouldn't ever even give a chance 
because I'll go, oh, well, I'm not going to waste money on that because I have no idea. I don't right. trust this brewery. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to make that gamble. And we've had a bunch of really fantastic surprises on this show. That like that five dollar, that five dollar double. Yeah, that Mike brought in. Mm -hmm. That was fucking great. That shit was good. Yep. The five dollar old potentate. Yeah, which you that know, was four wasn't it? It was four dollars. So most oh, yeah. four dollars. Yeah. And most people would. <laughs> Even oh yeah, better. and Hop City has it for like eight ninety nine. Verdict. Yeah, victory. Hop Devil definitely doesn't suck. Dare I say one of the best, if not the best, I've I would made. say this beer, in fact, blows. If suck. See what I'm saying? Oh, it, yeah, yeah, it yeah. Brings it, it brings that to its conclusion. Yeah. It reverses the velocity. It brings what to its conclusion? You know what I mean. We'll see you next time.